fact is, no one really enjoys digital learning. As much as we hate getting up early every morning, we'd much rather be at school with our friends than stuck at home all day. But that doesn't mean that DLD has to be bad. Although it's not quite the same as a regular school day, you can still make the most of it. For me, a day of digital learning starts when I wake up around 9 a.m. I try to change into regular clothes and do my makeup because even though I don't have to leave the house, I'm trying to make my life feel as normal as possible. It's really nice for me to be able to work on my assignments at my own pace and from the comfort of my own home. And I usually get done with everything by around three or four o'clock, just depending on how much work I have to do. And then I can just take it easy for the rest of the day. And with all the free time I have, I've been catching up on my favorite shows, reading more, and although I can't see them in person, my friends and I still talk all the time because digital learning may be frustrating at times, but it's not all that bad. Coronacation. Yay. DLDs aren't that hard, the digital learning days. I mean, I wake up, I eat breakfast, and I hop on E class, and then I see it's like, oh my god, uh, I got some math to do, do that late at night or something like that. Or we start off with AP US, or sometimes, you know, we'll do language arts too. Physics is really easy, not much going on there. Like the DLD days are pretty easy, but we have an 82 because we have uh, two zeros in for some homework grades that I thought my teacher went in grade, so uh, he caught me on my bluff. Also, in the meantime, my baseball is canceled. Red baller. Track is canceled. Everything's canceled. So, you know, I got the treadmill to run on, you beat. And then with baseball, I'm just lazy, but. That's about it for athletics. Most of my free time, you know, we can uh, we can read, but I don't choose to. We got a lot of books to choose from. I also have, you know, we have some Wii Sports. Wii Sports is always good. And then, of course, as you know, Hearts of Iron 4. I've been playing a lot of that in Brazil. Strong country, trust me. We also picked up a new hobby. You know, we've been painting a little bit. That's good. I'm getting good at that. So, DLD, coronacation, coronavirus, quick update, hope it was good, I hate vlogs, so there's that, so I'll see what I'll be up to for the next week and a half-ish, bye. It is now our second week of digital learning, a lot of us didn't think it was going to be this long, but it turned out to be this long. One way I'm handling digital learning is by checking websites my teachers use to assign assignments and completing the assignments. And if I have any questions, I reach out to them using email, remind, and video chats and other methods they use to get in contact with their students. And that's basically how I'm handling digital learning. Everybody stay safe, and we really hope to get back very soon. Hello there, my name is Wesley Jarnigan. And right now, I know that things are looking a little strange. This online schooling is something unexpected, but it has its perks. The beauty of Digital Learning Day is that I no longer have to wake up at 5 a.m. every morning. Also, I can do assignments at my own pace. And now that I do have a lot of time, I can do things that I've always wanted to do, like learn the nunchucks or solve Rubik's Cube. And I have plenty of time to watch movies and read books, which are fun things, especially reading. I can eat what I please, whenever I please. And also, I can connect with my friends online, and there might be some people that I haven't talked to in a while, and I can just check up on them, see how they're doing. I think what works best for me is to keep myself busy during this time, and to think of it as a good thing to give me plenty of time to do things that I've always wanted to do. What I like to do is make a checklist of things that I want to get done that day, and I just get it done with. It feels good to check off those little boxes, you should try it. And although this senior year will be unforgettable, we know that we shine best when it is dark, and that we will adjust, adapt, and overcome. So please, stay well, and stay clean, and just keep going. You guys got this. So, digital learning day. It's alright, you know, wake up, get breakfast, work, take breaks, watch, you know, a show, like a episode or two, you know, that's something to, like, just take a break. You know, I can wake up whenever I feel like it, so that's kind of nice. But, you know, it doesn't feel the same as that close encounter interaction. Y you get me? You get me. I know you got me. I mean, 
Sure, doing work online is fun. You know, I finished in like, what, three hours? That's pretty good. But at the same time, I'd rather just kind of be there. Granted, I do have a lot more uh, things I can get done at home, you know? But it just doesn't feel the same. You know, this coronavirus going around, it's nothing. Let's just go back to school. It's easier that way. So with schools closing down due to the coronavirus, many students are being given assignments online during these digital learning days. With this, students can still participate in engaging assignments from their home. I enjoy digital learning days because I have more time to catch up on sleep, talk with my friends, and watch some Netflix during the day. On top of that, I have more freedom to do assignments whenever I want to. Another great thing about digital learning days is that they're digital, which opens up a ton of opportunities for teachers. Uh, things like Zoom, which is an interactive application that lets you talk to your teachers in real time. So far, I think that digital learning days have been pretty good. Digital learning day has been pretty alright. Uh, I've been getting my work done pretty, pretty early. Um, some I wait until the last minute because I don't have a laptop or anything because I have to wait until my dad gets home to use that. But uh, also being able to wake up whenever I want, sometimes it's in, into the afternoon, but it's pretty nice being able to wake up and not feel all groggy and tired. Not having like that, that just silence of being in a classroom. Like you can listen to music, you don't have to ask the teacher. You can watch a YouTube video and take a break. You can eat lunch whenever you want. Hello, Broncos. How's your digital learning day been going? Mine has been going quite well. Thank you so much for asking. To start off, since we don't have any rules about like eating in class, I've really been enjoying a snack along with my digital learning classes. My personal favorite, coffee popcorn. Less of a known combination, but I love it. Um, so during the two weeks, I've been having a hard time keeping up with like the things I had to do like knowing when to turn them in. So I started doing the schedule thing on a Google Docs and I gotta say, I'd recommend you try it out. It's going great. Um, while I'm not learning, I'm either reading the Hate to Give, amazing book, five stars, or I'm playing the brand new Animal Crossing game on Nintendo Switch, Animal Crossing New Horizon, which is my first game from the series. Anyways, while this may not be the most favorable situation going on right now, I gotta say, I feel I made the best of it. I hope yours is going as well as mine is. Have a great day, Broncos. These are, of course, unusual times, but here in the Brookwood Cluster, we're coming together, teachers and students, to make sure that learning is uninterrupted, that we use the technology in the best way possible to keep the lines of communication open. Because that's what Brookwood is all about. No matter what happens, no matter what we're facing, we face it together. Learning is only part of the equation. This is community, and we're facing these unprecedented times together, trying to maintain a sense of routine despite what's going on in the world around us. So remember that when you're working from home, teachers and students and parents, that we're here for you and you're here for us. Because together, will make it through. And this school year will be remembered, not as a time of adversity, but as a time of triumph. Because that's what we do. We overcome. Stay safe out there and stay in touch and keep working hard. Because we're working hard to do right by you. And if you ever need anything, Broncos, remember, we're here for you. We're always here for you.